wait. I can't wait. Oh, all oh, that. Oh. This summer, we were both back on the road touring and happened to end up in Brazil at the same time. After a busy touring schedule, we thought it was a great chance to take a breather and catch up with Dunny from Green Kitchen and explore some more vegan versions of classic Brazilian foods. Danny and Fabio met us down at the local co-op so we could do some exploring and pick up some ingredients. And for the pão de queijo. Yeah. Mandioquinha. Mandioquinha. Little mandioca. Yeah. Little mandioca. This is very Brazilian. Smell. Just smell this thing. It smells like earth. <laughs> Good, isn't it? I love to make vegan bungee queijo at home all the time, and I wanted to see if Dunny had any tips or tricks to share. So we headed back to the kitchen with all our supplies to get cooking. Hey! <laughs> So we're here right now, and we're going to make something very special. But you are the one who knows how to do that, right? You do it almost every day, huh? Almost every day, because I miss Brazil so much, so I want to make something that reminds me of Brazil, which is pão de queijo. Oh my god, I love this stuff. Pão de queijo is loved by everyone, so... Cheese yeah. bread, right? Yes, Basically. Yes, and you don't want to say pao de queijo. Don't say pao de queijo. Oh we learned that no. before. Boom. 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 Not pao on the shopper. Boom. <laughs> that would be like a, a on the grill. <laughs> that, yeah. that, that could boom. hurt. Boom. 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 De queijo. Boom. You, what, what does it mean if I pronounce it wrong? Then it's probably like penis bread? Uh, yes, it is. Penis cheese, actually. <laughs> penis cheese. So introduce this to your recipe, and then we'll work together to make this bone Nice, okay. yeah. Um, this is uh, one of the recipes. We have many options to to, to get the perfect uh, cheese bread. And uh, when we say cheese bread, it's not l like a regular bread. This cheese bread is a little sticky, mm, and that's what out. makes yeah mm. so different and unique. So for today, we're gonna use. A uh, uh, root, very Brazilian, which is mandioquinha. Little, little mandioca. The key ingredient for pão de queijo is mandioca, a hearty root vegetable common in Brazil. It goes by many names, including cassava and yuca. We've seen this versatile vegetable before on the show when we had yuca fries in Parachi. The starch of the root is often extracted and is sold worldwide as tapioca flour or tapioca starch. Which is like a yam. Yes. In America, that would be a yam. A yam. It grows in the ground. So you could use yam. I've seen you use potatoes. I use potatoes. I Sometimes I use a potato. It's an Irish version. I. First of all, I boil and mash like this and mix with olive oil. That's olive oil. Yeah, but you guys can use whatever oh. oil you have. I in use olive house. oil. This is two uh, different types of uh, manioc flowers. You saw, you told me about uh, which flower. Yeah, I was using a tapioca flower, tapioca starch. It works perfectly. You know, you get that stretchy feel. You can find tapioca it. Tapioca is pretty easy to find in yeah. most places there. And it, but that makes it naturally gluten free, right? Yes. Which is great for, for those Absolutely. who can't gluten. When do Brazilians have this? Because I have this like in the middle of the day, sometimes at night. I'm like, oh, I want a nice. Fun snack, but usually this is in the morning, right? Usually, yeah, as a breakfast, people used to take that and uh, as a snack between the meals. Okay. It's perfect. And you can put some, um, how does it, feelings? Feelings. Yeah. Feelings. Oh. Nothing more than feelings. <laughs> you know what I did? Mm. I tried it because I had it one time in Brazil with sun-dried tomatoes. Ooh, inside. that sounds really good. I got fancy with it. I was stuffing my bread with this little sun-dried tomatoes. My God. It was incredible. Yeah, yeah very good contrast. I don't want to brag, but it was, it, that worked. And then I was trying to think of other things that you could put inside, but. Everything, like, you know, you know what? Uh, what uh, that came out very as long. long as <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> oh my God. What is so here we have the polvilho azedo and here the polvilho doce which is something that I'm not sure that you're going to find in uh, another... Which you could just use tapioca. Yes. You can just use tapioca. Yes. Mm -hmm. Here I'm going to use that because I'm 
We're in Brazil. <laughs> talking, yeah. I want to teach you guys yeah. how yeah. Brazilians do that. It brings more flavors on mm. it. And something that is nothing Brazilian, but we love to do it. Nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast. The vegan, vegan crack. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'm You're in right. love with it. Thank you, Egyptians, for this lovely oh, dish. Oh, it's a, the Egyptians? It's yes. from Egypt? Uh, I didn't know that. Mm. And here's a little salt. You know, but to get course. a little flavor on it. And that's it. Who wants to put their hands on it? Yeah, you got to put your hands in I'm going to wash my paws first. Yeah. All right. I'm going to yes. clean up this space. Get, get, my, yeah. get my base paws involved here. Yeah, get your paws in there. Get me paws. Base paws. Oh, it's awesome. Love getting involved with food. And mix it up really nice there. Right. You're doing this pirate thing. He tries to do my accent and it's kind of part pirate. I don't think anyone that... Pirate Irish. not from there. Pirish. If you're not from Ireland, then you're, you're going to sound pretty good. Well, you sound Scottish kind of now as well. Uh, yeah, I did turn to that. Oh, it's getting there. You want to show the people where you're at now? Oh, I, I, you, got, you can't do it, so... Thanks for your assistance. Yes, you're welcome. Slow-mo. This is very simple as well. It's super simple. Trust me, it's satisfying and quick so so we make tiny little basically balls. i i would like to grab a tablespoon mm. of dough i'm sorry and make into a ball and then using this process right here to make it my ball uh, is much spring. bigger than your ball let's bring those balls down a little we're gonna shrink those balls and uh smaller okay. the quicker it cooks right yeah and it's gonna expand a little yes it is it, it will so bring your ball down a little <laughs> oh, yeah, come on. You have to tell us about this amazing jewelry you get. Yes. <laughs> this jewelry is that they are using is from uh, indigenous people. They doing artisanal work from, with seeds. This is real seeds called chiririca. Chiririca. Yeah, and Jeez. this is from uh, leaves. Amazing. Yeah, I have the same, and this is a beautiful seed from one the. <gasps> tree in the Amazon mm -hmm. and Derek what is using on the neck something really beautiful as well. It's from uh, two types of uh, seeds as well. Wow. Here is one type of seed, of seed and this one is another type of seed. So cool. But I don't know the name. It's very different. We bought these, these obviously indigenous artists. Yeah. It's very cool. Yeah, here in Sao Paulo, they have a few little stores that they sell, mm -hmm. a few little persons that goes over there and bring it. And I love to give as a gift, especially for yeah. people from abroad right, to understand right. how beautiful it is, our culture here. There were many uh, indigenous tribes here. Many. And many languages as well. Exactly. I mean, there was over think, a thousand yes, languages that yes. were here in South America, in Brazil. Many. Yeah. We don't even know. But yeah, actually, people think indigenous is just one type of right. like, no, no. Every region have this culture, their costumes, the way to eat and the way to dress and, mm -hmm. you know, to do all this, all this artisanal work. I think there's a lot that's to be learned, you know, that should have been learned a long time ago when uh, certain invaders came. Mm -hmm. um, there was a lot to be learned, especially about agriculture. For sure. You know, and connection with the planet and staying connected. For sure. Um, this they've, was some, they've always known. Yeah. This. They've been here for more than 5,000 years and they keep all the forest uh, alive. So we have a lot to learn from them. Mm -hmm. It's crazy that it took so long to realize that we had to come back to that. Look, but these tribes, these indigenous tribes, so they're so connected to nature and in, in symbiosis with it. And if we just listen, if we just yeah. listen, <laughs> the people who know best about sure. the lands, it's incredible how ignorant we've become. it makes a, become. a lot of sense, too. Yeah. If you just it sure listen. does. I think they're beautiful. I love them. So let's do it. Oh, that was quick. Here some, we go. Some tin foil lay down there, and yeah. And this is going and in the this oven. This is going to the oven. Do you want an oven shot? <laughs> what temperature? For how long? Oh. Here in the air fryer, 10, 15 minutes. Oh, yeah. In the oven, 20. Yeah. Action. <laughs> Okay, we just finished the air fryer one. So these are the air fryer ones. Yeah, how do you think? I think they look crazy, crispy? crazy crispy. Oh yeah, there it is. 
would try one as well. Mm, okay. Crispy. You could eat a lot of this. Air fryer. It's really 100%. good. Oven versus air fryer. I can't wait. I can't wait. That's how you cool it down. Oh, oh here we go. Oh. Having lived here for so long, I love discovering these kinds of Brazilian foods. There's so many ways to make delicious ethnic meals plant-based, and it's fun to try. Oh my God. Really crispy on the edge. Like. Mm -hmm. I can really? totally understand why these little cheese breads are so popular, and it was great to see just how easy it is to make them plant-based. Mm. I don't know. Both awesome. I should probably have one more just to make sure. Next up, Danny shows us how to put together a delicious, authentic farofa. A super popular dish here in Brazil and one I'm very excited to try. But to see all that, you'll have to tune in to the next video. Subscribe to hear when it comes out. Thanks for watching Highway to Hell. Make sure to like and subscribe. Check out the next video right here. <laughs>